Rolling around the con downstairs in the boat. Look who I've run into, man. It's John Bradley. Now, a bunch of you going, that ain't John Bradley, man. That's Samwell Tarly. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right, of course. That's what he does sometimes. But I just saw him and it embarrassed the hell out of him because I watched this movie that you're in called Traitors. Yeah, that's right. We'll talk about Thrones in a minute, but let's talk about Traitors because I dug this movie. Tell them the premise. Um, Harry and Vernon, I play Vernon, a, a Killian Scott plays Harry. We both work as part of the same company. Harry is a very successful high flyer. He's got everything. He's got the lifestyle. Vernon is uh, kind of IT support, still lives right. with his parents. So, so Harry is the kind of alpha male and Vernon's very much beta. What happens is the company goes into liquidation, they both lose their jobs, they both kind of hit the financial skids. Right. Vernon then comes up with an idea to get them out of it, which is that people who are poor, people who are desperate, people who are in financial dire straits, they sell everything they have, they convert it all into cash, they go to a remote location with somebody like-minded, somebody in the same situation, and then they fight each other to the death for all of the money. So Your fight scene yeah. is probably what a fight scene with me in real life would look <laughs> well, like. Me too. You know? <laughs> I love that. I was one of the, I watched the fight gone, that would be me. But I, that's when I watch Game of Thrones, everyone looks for the character they enter yeah, in through. Absolutely. I'm always like, well, I'd be saying. Oh, mm -hmm. man, that's, Hands yeah, down. that's very kind. Thank Let's you. talk about that real quick. You're from Manchester? Manchester. You're Mancunian. Yeah. When you join a show like Game of Thrones, which has a ton of accents. Yeah. Do they say, can you make that this, or they just want you to use your accent, or are they ever like, that's a little too posh, can you bring it down here? Well, that's an interesting point that you raised there. And I was kind of hoping you wouldn't, because, <laughs> because, because, uh, uh, when I first joined the show, um, I was told that you know, you're in the Northern storyline. Okay. You're gonna talk with a Northern accent like Jon Snow, like Ned Stark. And it's only last season when you, when you see Sam go home, see, see him go back to his family, that you realize he hasn't got the same accent as the rest of his family. <laughs> so, you know, the, 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 cheers for flagging that one up, Kevin. Nobody, but, uh, nobody we, I don't <laughs> think anybody, and believe me, that is not a complaint. That's no, no, no. not at all. But. I, I think, yeah, what I like about it is, similar to the UK, the accents can, can identify the landscape. Mm -hmm. You're one of the only characters to kill a White Walker. One of like the only when three, I, When yeah. I tweeted once, like, Sam is me in Game of Thrones, people right away were like, well, then you killed the White Walker, because yeah. he's one of the only guys. He figured out the dragon glass. Yeah. Your character is so wonderful and so sweetly played. Oh, thank he's you. He's probably one of the most human people in, in, you know, in a, a show that's all about machinations and yeah, other worldly events. Sam is our heart, you know what I'm saying? But once again, you know, when he killed that White Walker, he was acting purely on instinct to protect the to ones defend. that he loves. It wasn't, he, when you see him, you don't think he's ever got that in him, but he does. He just needs to be kind of winkled out by circumstances. In the same, not to tie it back to traders, it's the same Try thing it. as traders because, because people who never dreamed that they could fight, it's just because they've never had anything to fight for before. Right, right, right. And I think that's absolutely the case with Sam. He doesn't know how much of a fighter is because he's never cared about anything enough to fight for it. You know what I mean? Fantastic. Yeah. Give it up for John Bradley, everybody. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>